from my area where I live, there are a lot of good. There's a lot of good education going on. It, it truly is. Um, you know, and again, again, I find that uh, the less, in, in, and I think that's probably true in the Chicago area, the less. Uh, there is of, of parent support, and when I what I mean parent support, I don't mean that they show up to school and they do all that sort of stuff, but they send kids to school who have respect for authority, who believe in discipline, and they send kids to school who want you know they, they've got examples at home that want to learn. Now w w that's getting to be a bigger problem throughout the state, obviously, not just in the Chicago area because you, you have dysfunctional families that, that, and it's very difficult with, with those kids. But that's a problem we have and we have to deal with it. And, and, some of the, and the question that was directed at uh, uh, the president of uh, the uh, what group action, you know, I, I think was a good question. How, what, what do we need to do? And you know, you, you talked about having good teachers who would stay. You know, there, 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 are, there aren't a great number of these great teachers. Teachers, te teaching is a, is an art. It truly is. Some you you can have two very bright people, and one of them will be really you could just in a classroom does a great job, and the other one will never do a great job. It's 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 um, it, it truly is a gift uh, that that people have. Now, can you make that gift better? You sure can, and I think that's some of these proposals that you're talking about are attempting attempting to do that. Now, to get those kind of teachers to go in and stay at the, at the schools that certainly have a, lo a lot less people graduating and have, have more problems, that's something I'd like to hear of how, how you can do that. Because first of all, those kind of teachers are, are not just, you know, there may be 500, there may be 50 teachers want to get a, a, particular, uh, a particular position. But not, they're not, probably not a whole lot of them. They're really, really good people. I mean, they're good people, but they're not really skilled and they're not really, I think, gifted people who, who are going to do a good job. But how you can get those num that number of people to go into, the, into those areas, that, that's a toughie. I mean, it truly is. And, and I think Senator Maloney ma made a comment about the, there are some schools that have really do well in, in the Chicago area. I mean, they, they really have great achievement. But I, I do believe that it isn't, it, 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 obviously they have, they have been able to maintain really talented teachers, but they also ha probably have some, a different, a different group of kids who actually show up there. Am I right about that? I mean, kids who from homes maybe who, who believe that education is important and, and that's where they want their, their kid to go to school. It, it, you know, I think it's a combination of things. It's not just the teacher. You've got all sorts. There's no question that you've got some highly performing selective enrollment schools. There's also no question you've got some very highly performing neighborhood schools that have built really strong teams where you've got, a ter uh, you've got mm -hmm. strong leadership. The most important thing that leader does, and we all know it, is it's they build their team. They Agreed. go out and they recruit aggressively. They develop, you know, in a re they, you know, you don't have to tell them to use the evaluation. They're using the evaluation as a developmentally sensible way. They're targeting professional development in a useful way, and they're keeping their best teachers. The truth is, we've got it, and the proposals in here are designed to make it easier for them to do that job well. We make it hard. What if they just, they hire a terrific person, you know, uh, uh, in the last couple of years. Now layoffs come, and even though they think that's the person they really want to keep to keep their team strong, they really, they have no control over that, and that's really not what we want to see. Um, and at the same time, if that principal isn't able to do that, if they're not able to build that kind of strong professional climate and culture, we want to know that too. We think that's why this information. What do you think about that idea? I agree with her. I understand what you were saying about the um, children coming to school, being respectful and whatever. But then we have children that uh, carry uh, baggage that rightfully don't belong to them. Oh, All I, we I, want I, to do I is bring the parents in you know, make us one of the um, advisory on these committee. Here I am. Input. Here our community input. We want teachers that's going to come into our community and be committed to teaching, be committed to our children, be committed to our community, and be committed to being a good teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we know it, t makes all, it takes all kinds to make a world. We're just trying to get the best of our teachers so we can get the best out of our children. And, and your, your argument was that many times you get those, those people who are from the community 
who have a lot in common with the kids that are going to go there will stay, that percentage of them will stay better than, than maybe someone else? Is that, that is correct, sir. Okay. Thank you.